The Oyster Request Room program is, it's a team, uh, it's the 9th through 12th graders plus the 7th and 8th graders. The high schoolers can ride on the team at three shows and then the 7th and 8th graders are there to help the riders as ground crew. So they hold the horses, brush the horses and help tack up and anything else that's needed to be done. The team competes at three district shows and then the top three riders in each class go to the state show. And all of the shows are between kind of beginning of April, end of May. It's a pretty short season. We start practices usually after December 1st and can go through the end of the state show. So each team needs a place to practice. And then since I'm the coach and the majority of the students initially were my regular lesson students riding with me once a week or so, um, they're riding my horses. So they, we just decided it made sense to have practice here. And so then we schedule usually a practice every month on a Saturday afternoon for a few hours and the kids come and ride here. The ones that don't keep their horses here bring the horses in for that period of time. Um, and there wasn't really, I mean, it just kind of made sense for us to be the farm to host everything. I mean, we've definitely grown from when we started. I think we only started with a handful of kids and a couple of riders and one or two ground crew members. At this point, I've got eight riders and probably about eight ground crew members, which is pretty big. I think number-wise, because the school's on the smaller side, I don't see the numbers getting that much bigger. I mean, if we got more, it definitely would be good. I mean, I love working with the kids. I like seeing them start at one place and finish better at the end of the season. Each of the kids, they can pick five, up to five classes. They don't have to do all five. They can do three or all of them. There's three divisions. There's an in-hand division, a walk-trot division, and a walk-trot canter division. Um, once they pick that division, they're stuck in that through the rest of the season. The walk-trot canter division has jumping classes. And then within each division, or at least the walk trot, walk trot, canter divisions, they can do dressage tests, they can do some games, so like barrel racing, the flag races where they put a flag in a bucket and switch the bucket or switch the flag, um, some pole bending, there's equitation classes, suitability classes, which are based on how well the horse is suited for that discipline and they can do western classes as well and they can they can do a dressage test a western class a game and jump all in the same day in the horses they're my life and i enjoy i enjoy competing myself i'm competitive and i like to be there to support the kids and watch them and, and help them and and I really would like to see that I can have an influence on these kids' lives. Entering rank two, rider number 16, Slow Sled, Oyster River.